The Jacksonville City Council is closing in on a solution to the city's biggest financial mess, the $1.7 billion pension deficit. The majority of council members have given their approval of a watered-down version of what the mayor wanted. And tomorrow night, the council is expected to vote on the deal. Jim Pickett takes a look at this deal. Jim? You know, Rob, what's going to happen here is once it, the council approves this and they're expected to, it could go to the police and fire pension board. And there, if they don't say okay, it could start all over again. The mayor and the head of the police and fire pension fund shook hands last summer. They just finished coming up with a pension deal. Since then, it's been up to the city council to try to see what would actually work to bring down that $1.7 billion debt. The mayor's plan calls for the city to pay an additional $40 million each year for the next 10 years. Where that will come from is still anybody's guess. The mayor's office has been pushing an idea to use JEA as a funding source, and the city would then help with JEA's pension. Uh, JEA board voted unanimously uh, for the proposal as a working framework, and so I'm looking forward to working with JEA as they come up with the final uh, document to present, but I support their proposal. Some council members are very leery of that. JEA is not a bank. JEA is a utility, and we have to be very, very careful. But the real issue will be with the police and fire pension board. The city council proposal makes some big changes that the pension board may not be happy with. They include changes to the cost of living increase for new retirees based on Social Security, changes to drop the deferred retirement plan where participants can retire later and get more money. And the council could come back every three years and make changes to the plan if there is an impasse during contract negotiations. We asked the head of the pension board if these changes could kill any deal. It's hard to say what's going to be a deal killer or what's going to be uh, eventually adopted. So basically what will happen now, they'll vote on it tomorrow night. If it passes, the pension board meets Wednesday morning. They're going to discuss it, but then not vote on it. There's still a lot more work to be done. We're live downtown, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.